Hello everybody. Uh, now it's time to see another concept in test ng that is optional parameters. What I have open here is the test ng official website testng.org and you can see here uh, I'm moving my cursor over here. So parameters can be declared optional with the optional annotation. Now this is how you declare optional parameters. And what is the use of optional parameters? It states below. If no parameters named db, which is this one, is found in your test ng XML file, your test method will receive the default value specified inside the optional annotation that is MySQL. So whatever is mentioned over here will go into your test if there is no parameter provided in your test ng XML. The best way to look into this as always is through an example. So I have created a class over here called optional parameters which has the parameters tag and it has this parameter called optional param. This optional param links to test ng XML here and here I have the optional param. Here if you can see optional parameter has only been mentioned for test 1 while as test 2 I am repeating the same thing for the same class but without the optional parameter I mean without the parameter it is just named optional parameter over here optional param but it's a normal param so without using optional parameter let's see how this behaves so now I go ahead and run this run as testing See, two tests have been run and there is a one failure. Now let's see in the test ng why it has failed. Test 1 has failed and it has given a test ng exception saying that parameter optional param is required by at the rate test. I will just. Yeah. Parameter optional param is required by a test at the red test or method test1 but has not been marked optional or defined in test ng XML. So since we did not define it in test ng XML and also did not define it as optional, it has failed. So now how to get rid of this? Let's see. Okay. So I am back into my program and what I need to do now is I need to provide optional at the rate optional and then I need to provide some string which will go if there is no parameter specified. Okay, so this will be displayed if no param is in the XML. This is what I have put as a uh, as an argument to the add optional argument. So now let's go ahead and run our test and let's see what happens. So here I have my test in the XML right click run as yep there you see uh, initially we had one test failure but now both the tests are passing and let me increase this so here is the output the first test is giving provided from test ng and the second test is giving this will be displayed if no param is in the xml so how did this happen let's see let's go back to the program Okay, what 
what I will do is I will just go ahead and open this. All right, let me explain you what is happening over here. So, in the first test here. In the first test, I have provided the parameter in the test ng XML. That's why it is printing provided from test ng. But in the second test, test 2, I have not provided any parameter. And that is when the optional parameter comes into picture and it prints the value in the optional parameter. This will be displayed if no param is in the XML. So that is what we are getting in the output. So this is how optional parameters work. If you have any questions regarding optional parameters, do ping me or do send me a message and as always please do subscribe and like my videos thank you